So you have a pet cow. Yep. All of these baby tortoises. Is this the famous Snickers? Look at these guys go. This is absolutely insane. What up, Slayers? All right, today we are looking at our monster goldfish tank. Yes, that is right. We have a lot of goldfish now. Almost, I would dare to say, too many goldfish. Now, we still have the Cloud Clan above, just like you were saying right there. And we have the Skittle Squad as well. And we have our Koi's right there. Well, actually, that's a goldfish. That's a goldfish. That's a goldfish. 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 So, what I'm thinking about doing, actually, is I want to go ahead and keep the goldfish here. But not the big ones, just the small ones in the meantime because it's not fair for the big goldfish to move from a giant location into this very compact space. Now in the future, which is very, very soon, we're going to go ahead and put these bigger goldfish into a bigger tank like I was saying before. So in the meantime, I'm going to temporarily find them a home with my good friend. Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. Yes, I've been asked by many of you to go ahead and visit him, but we're not going to exactly visit him to go look at his ranch at the moment. We're just going to do a quick visit so we can go ahead and hold our goldfish right here. Here we have Spots. Here we have Juanita. Here we have Big Juan. We have our koi's back there as well. So what I think I'm going to go ahead and do is move all the big goldfish and keep the koi and keep the medium sized goldfish as well that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do in the meantime now granted he'll be fine in here but I'm definitely gonna have to move Juanita definitely gonna have to go ahead and move this guy and spots and that one as well now with all the aeration that happens in here because there is there's tons tons and tons I just would rather have them be safe and secure in a bigger pond because it has a pool pond. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed them one last time with everyone here so you guys can go ahead and enjoy them. Here they are with their food. You ready to eat? They drop a little bit at a time. Look at these guys go. This is absolutely insane. Everyone gets a little piece. Look at that, even the new guys are eating. Yum, yum, yum. In the tum, tum, tum. Look at that. This is crazy. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and load these guys up in my trunk, which I still have that awesome trunk pool bin, pool pond thing I got going on in the trunk. I still have that. So I'm gonna go ahead and load these guys up and I'll meet you at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. All right, Slayers, we have made it to Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. But first, before saying hi to Blake, look guys, I have some crawfish here. These are actually some of the crawfish that I have in my tanks that right now, you know what, I have too many and they were harassing the blue lobster so we had to go ahead and put them in here. So I don't know, we might feed them to something or just give them the Blake as a little surprise, you know what I'm saying? But look at these beautiful goldfish. They're gonna have a beautiful home and his beautiful ranch. Now, we're not gonna visit his ranch today. We're not gonna go ahead and look at all the animals. There's so many things going on. And hello, my friend. How are you? I was just saying how awesome your place is and how grateful I am for you to take care of my goldfish in the meantime until I get everything set up. Check out these guys, dude. They're pretty wow. interesting. those things are nice. They're, they're big, bro. Yeah, they really are. They're really big, but you know what? I had them in a 90 and that's not fair for them. And I'm setting up a... Uh, like 150 now. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and set up a big old tank. So we're going to go ahead and move these guys into your pond if that's cool with you. Sounds good. Look at the scales on this wow, thing. Wow, that thing is nice. It's like a butterfly. It is like a butterfly. Yeah, it's nice. So these used to be in a 30,000 gallon pond Wow! and moved over. So in the meantime, we have that one there. There you go, mister. And then we have that. Can I get the calico? Yeah. Spots is the coolest okay. thing ever. That thing is nice. That's really cool. That one's dope. Love that one. And then just these guys, little redheads. Okay. Is there a specific name? Do you guys know about these or no? Not at all, actually. So guys, in the comments below, let me know what you think these are actually called. I just call them goldfish that have red heads. I'm sure there's some type of Chinese name or Japanese Something. name. For sure. Look at that. Goodbye. Really yeah. cool. Time to get the last one. You want crawfish, bro? <laughs> uh, I'll take some. They're cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I'll put some in my back palm now so I can get them going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take them stick. all, dude. All right, cool. Awesome. Put that guy in right there. See you later. There you go. Awesome. So then you can actually, if you want to just take those two. Yeah, I'll take them on the crawfish. Yeah, take them all. Is this the famous Snickers? Yeah. Oh my god. 
There's so much noise. Okay, 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 okay. Oh my god. It's loud. <laughs> it's loud. That's awesome though. So many animals. Yeah, Look at right Snickers. Only the coolest thing of all time. Love you. Dude, Lily would be freaking out right now. It's like her dream to meet Snickers in person. Like for real. What you got in here? You got some goldfish and stuff? Yeah, those are goldfish I just saved from my turtle pond the other day. Oh, it's nice. He's just so loud if he's not with you or whatever. But you, you just he'll just stay there. Yeah, the whole time? I got him as a rescue, and he just stays. Like he just wants to be on your shoulder all day long. Oh, that's dope. And here I have a bunch of platies and oh, minnows, sword tails too. Yeah, sword tails. I got a bunch of mix. And then those two right there are just feeder fish that survived. Oh, I pond. saw that video. Yeah, that, that was cool. Yeah. yeah, and then yeah, you still have those cool turtles, right? Yeah, yeah you I do. Have a nice old vinyl fleck on here, also. Where's, Where's the, turtle? the? Oh, the turtles are actually in the center block. I yeah, saw them earlier on that side. Yep. Oh, there they are in the back. Oh, and there's the albino. Well, albino actually, that one's really albino. That's uh, a really albino. Yeah, that's a nice one. That's that true albinos. Oh man, look at that. That's so cool. Yeah, it's pretty. Dude, I actually like them albino in comparison to this. Yeah, they're real neat. Anything else? This is so cool, bro. Yeah, okay. So this is the, is yeah, this the spot you want to put them in here? Yeah, this is about 100 gallons exactly, so I think they'll do great in here for a little yeah. while. This is a lot better than having them harassed by all my little goldfish that yeah, I have over there. there you go. Yeah, dude. So let's, uh, let's put these in there, and then if you want, is it cool with you? I can look at some other stuff? Yeah. All right, cool. All right, guys, time for your new home. In all the right. meantime, let's get this guy. First. See that? A bucket full of goldfish right there, dude. All right, yes, that's a beautiful one. Whoa, whoa, whoa! There you go, buddy. <laughs> the water's about up. the same, so we're oh, all yeah, good. Yeah, it's nice and nice. Get this one too. The calico one is one of my go. favorites so far. Yeah, I really like that one. I've always liked those. I never had those before. The first for everything, my oh, friend. There he goes. Oh, and there goes Maverick. Where'd Maverick go? Oh, Back to the cave. over there. That works too. Yeah, they're all free flying in here. <laughs> What, do you got? what else we got here? We got the other guys. I really want to know the names. Now you got me curious. Yeah, I know. I know there's a name. You know who's actually really good? Franklin's really good. With all fishing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. With all the, yeah. the koi and the goldfish names. He actually studied all those koi names. He's real good at it. <laughs> Surprise. Like, he's real good at that. <laughs> I like it. Oh, yeah. We have the crawfish and we have the last goldfish here. So, like I said, guys, he's going to go ahead and hold these or possibly, you know what? We might just end up giving them to him and we'll get new ones. Ooh, in the meantime. There he goes. But this is gonna be a, a lot better awesome. place in yeah. comparison to before, bro. And this is just temporary. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. Oh yeah, that's right. Cause you're beginning um some new stuff in the some future, new right? Stuff soon. Yeah, dude, I can't wait. Let's look over here, bro. Look at all of these baby tortoises. A little bunch of baby focada tortoises right here, dude. And they're all for sale. These guys aren't, but I have others that are. Oh man. So hit them up. Yeah. The legendary Galapagos tortoise. Look right at that. There. Yeah, a little peeling right there. There you go. Wow. Be a monster one day. Yeah, that's the one that you had in a yep, big so old world, thumbnail. I'm going to go ahead and put a... Tortoise. Yeah, world's largest tortoise. I'm going to go ahead and put a photo right now so you can see how big the tortoise actually is. Right. The baby are radiated tortoises from uh, Madagascar. Very endangered tortoise. It's both sleeping, hanging out right now. Just wake them up. Dude, they're so adorable. This is considered the most beautiful tortoise in the world. Yeah, why? Just the way that the shell is. It's so really pretty and straight. Yeah. The color that they have. What you These little guys here are uh, Sri Lankan star tortoises from India. Little babies. Look at that. Dude, you have so much stuff here, bro. This is amazing. Yeah, you so you're growing all these out to start breeding again? Eventually, yeah. Start all over. That's right, yeah. But everything's coming out soon. Look at this guy. This is your favorite so far? Yeah, he's cool. I never had a Galapagos, so it's pretty cool to get one of those. Oh man, that's awesome. Yeah. So what you got back here, bro? So inside of here we have high fin sharks, albino Oscar, iridescent sharks, albinos. albinos you have sturgeon? Sturgeons. Yeah, there's albino sturgeon right here. Oh, that one's really big. He's a nice one. I remember when that's you got them like really, really little. Yeah, three albino sturgeons, two normals, two high fins right there. You have peacocks. Oh yeah, I have two azul peacock bass in here. All oh, the blue ones? Yeah. Dude, that is lit. Oh, and they stay next to each other the oh, entire yeah, time. Right They're finally eating on frozen and shrimp and everything. So oh. it's perfect to eat on top of the water. Dude, that's so amazing. It took about two months to get them to do that. Bro. 
Dude, to get peas on on frozen is super hard for anyone, dude. Especially at that size. Baby babies, it's good. But for that size, it's hard Whoa. to get that. Dude, this is awesome. They're real pretty. Do you have like a bog filtration? That's everything that's there? Yeah, that's just like a little sump filter that I made. That's nice. That's awesome, dude. You want to go ahead and put those crawfish in the uh, that swamp you were talking about? Yeah, we can do that. So you have a pet cow? Yep. <laughs> My girl Moore. <laughs> that's awesome. Hello. She's friendly. She is? Oh my god. So I can officially say I've pet a cow for the first time in my life. Yeah, she's cool. That's awesome. And you have a whole bunch of other animals back yeah, here too. Yeah, donkeys over there. That's awesome. Right. Where are you taking me now? Wait, what's coming? Oh, it's the cow. Onwards we go. Wherever Blake said to take me into the woods and probably kill me. Water go down because it hasn't rained a lot. But yeah. When it floods up, it actually will flood up all the way up to here. Fish I can see out, that. It'll go into my property. It's insane. But um, this area is stocked up with a bunch of different Bremen native fish. It's real cool. I'm gonna put the crawfish right yeah, here. Yeah, I've never seen crawfish in here, so I think that'd be real neat to put some crawfish in here. We have a little one. This one's probably about a month old. Oh wow, they grow so, fast. Yeah, they grow real quick. All right, buddy. See you later. Put this one in and there. And ow. Got you. Yeah, it's fine though. I'm used to it. There you Bye go. Now. Dude, this is a, such a cool place, bro. Heck yeah. They're right there. Yeah, see there's, there's one, one right here. See him? Oh yeah. See you later. Look at that. Just hiding in there. When the water doesn't get marked up, they're real pretty. You can see them. They're just gonna breed, breed, breed. Oh yeah. And breed, and then it's gonna be a whole bunch, bro. It's gonna Hopefully. be crazy. So I'm gonna head out. I know you got a lot of animals to feed and stuff like that, dude. Get dark. And I'll see you guys next time.